Hello everyone, so today I'm excited to walk you through the Apple latest vision language model, right? Fast VLM. So why should you care? Because like Fast VLM is designed to make AI interaction faster, lighter and smarter, especially in the real-time Monday model tasks like email captioning, visual QA accessibility tool, and on device assistance. So in this presentation, I will cover what fast VOM is and how it work, why it matter for speed, latency and accuracy, and how you can get getting started using a Hergive. Okay, so let's check it out. So first, uh, fast VOM is the Apple Vision language. So it's in not the uh, large language model or generative uh, um, model like uh, OpenAI, uh, GBT, or Deep6. So FastBME Apple Vision language models, and it's designed for the low latency models. And it's using the very uh, interesting encoder, FastVITSD. It's the hybrid vision encoder that is emit fewer visual tokens, but let's still keep the high uh, quality of the response. So uh, FastBME is released with different version uh, from uh, uh, 500 million parameter to 7 billion. So uh, we uh, will go into discover this model in the next couple of slides. Okay, so what is exactly a fast VM? So it's new fast VI TSD. Like I said before, it's a hybrid vision encoder that's uh, reducing the encoding time, right? By producing fewer, but like more informative tokens. So it's scaling image resolution, balance detail, and token count, so it doesn't need extra printing. Uh, and with that technology applied, so it uh, have a very impressive time to the first token. So up to 85% uh, time higher, uh, 85 times faster compared to the one visions. And then for the uh, encoder side, it's uh, 3.4 times uh, smaller. Uh, than the uh, compatible baseline. So on a very impressive number for the fast VM. So uh, let's uh, uh, go into more detail about the model. So uh, we understand about latency, the scale and accuracy uh, capability of the model, right? So first re real-time UX, right? Uh, lower time to the first tokens and the efficient tokens enable the uh, fast VM uh, live captioning, right? Uh, on device assistant and then interactive uh, visual QA so that you can see that Apple uh, design and create this uh, model for uh, on a purpose to take into account, like to take advantage of their ecosystem with the uh, iOS device. Uh, so, uh, iPhone, iPad, and even on MacBook, so that uh, in the cup upcoming uh, release, I think. Uh, the divide the ecosystem will be powered by the Apple uh, building um, vision model. So because it can have like, very interesting uh, feature from the live captioning or on-device system capability of the model. And then like, fast VRM uh, is compared, it reported to have like, eight times faster than the comprehend at the similar accuracy. So you can see that Apple did not trade up the accuracy with the speed they improve the uh, efficiency of the model uh, and keep the quality at the high level. And also, uh, Apple, mm, this model is very lightweight and uh, it has a single encoder design and token efficiency, so it's like reduce the need for uh, the engineering complexities and also the infrastructure costs. So it's designed to running on device. So we mean that uh, you can try it on your PC, on your laptop, uh, with the proper configurations and it does not need to be a big configurations, right? So next, uh, if you want to try, right? So Hugging Fei is doing a very good job and then here the example code on how you can uh, install the necessary uh, library and then uh, try the FastVM, right? So in this case, we have the model ID, see like Apple FastVM, uh, seven billion parameter. And then we can load the image, like the test image, something like that, and then uh, sending the problem, like describe the image in one sense, then to the, hurricane, to the uh, mo model. And then, yeah, the, the model will uh, instantly gen generating the token back to uh, the uh, 
user, right? So because the, the time to the first token of the model is surprisingly low, so that you you get the response kind of like instantly. Okay, so where we can use the fast VM, right? So the use case and uh, I can think of about is like real time captioning and a screen understanding, right? Because and the chart table QA, UI, UX and diagram reasoning. So now you can have the better uh, interaction with the visual, uh, better like visual uh, Q A's and then on the device system accessibility, right? So I hope to see that uh, in the upcoming uh, iOS release or uh, iPad OS release, they they gonna uh, embedding more and more AI uh, feature on the device system, uh, and I I believe with the uh, new with the advantage of the fast VM, especially on the very uh, fast and accuracy response uh, and efficient token uh, engine, so uh, we're gonna see it soon, right? Uh, and of course, there are some not and limit about the model too. So uh, before you play, decide to using FastVM on uh, the production, make sure you are taking it carefully uh, about the uh, authorized data, apply safe filter, something like that, or license term. So uh, ensure you check that before you decided to bring the FastVM into your production system. Uh, next, so uh, there will be a simple workflow walkthrough. So uh, I, I will uh, create another video. Uh, to running uh, this model with Python sample code and then also uh, trying to run this on the local uh, on my laptop with uh, uh, LM Studio, right? So uh, uh, waiting for my next video and yeah, don't for forget to follow my uh, channel, support my channel. Uh, thank you very much and have a very good day.